The way Jamovi is set up, when you first go to explore your data, it offers you descriptive statistics or a numerical insight into your data. On the other hand, I actually prefer to begin with pictures, graphics, visualizations, do those first and then get numbers to provide precision that's in addition to what you get from the graphics. So in this one, I'm going to show you the first of several different visualizations that we get from Jamovi. The first one is histograms. Now the data set that I have open is the iris data. This is one of the example data sets. I'm going to come over here to exploration, click on that and go to the descriptives. Now, by default, it's going to try to do statistics, I actually don't want statistics. So I'm going to preempt that and just remove this information right now. So it's not going to produce a table. So the table has gone, what I am going to do, however, is I'm going to select these four quantitative variables, these are measurements of the uh, petals and sepals from three species of irises. I'm going to put those in variables. Now, right now, it's doing nothing because I canceled all of the statistics. But I need to come to this menu, which is plots. And all I'm going to do is select the first one, which is histogram. Remember, a histogram is a chart like a bell curve that shows you how common each score is in the distribution. The width of each bar or the bin width is arbitrary. In a lot of other programs, you can adjust that manually if you want. You can't do that in Jamovi, but truthfully, right now, it just makes your life a little simpler. What we have here is a pretty strong unimodal distribution for sepal length. We are kind of normal with a big spike in sepal width. We have a strong bimodal distribution for petal length, although it might be two separate normal distributions, maybe. And then for petal width, again, strong bimodal with this really skewed distribution here on the far left. So this lets us know, by the way, when you get a bimodal distribution, that generally tells you that you have more than one distribution happening there that got combined. And that makes sense because in this data set, we have three different species of irises. And with that, it makes sense to split this up and look at each of the species separately. So I'm going to do this command again, I'm going to come back up to exploration, to descriptives. And then I'm going to select the four variables again, put those into width, but this time, I'm going to add this one, I'm gonna put species under split by, I'm going to cancel out these statistics again, those aren't what I'm looking for right now. But I'm going to get histograms. Now what we have are separate stacked histograms for each of the three species. Now it does a really nice thing in that it puts all of them on the same scale. So for instance, here on sepal length, all three of these go from four centimeters up to eight centimeters, I'm going to click over here to close the menu. And it puts the three different species or three different groups in different colors. So it's really easy to tell them apart. And you can see Setosa is the lowest Versicolor is kind of middle ish and Virginica is a little higher. For sepal width, you can see that we've got some big differences there where Setosa is now the highest and Versicolor and Virginica are pretty similar to each other, although we have an outlier on Setosa. And then for petal length, we have an enormous difference. Setosa is way down there at the end, and the other two are pretty close to each other. And then finally for petal width, you can see the skewed distribution that's really close to zero for the Setosa irises, whereas Versicolor is a little bit medium and Virginica is at the highest. And so this is a great first step for getting a visual exploration of your data. First, by combining all the groups in one, and when you get an indication that maybe there's something going on there, then splitting it up to see if you can drill down and get a little more explanation for some peculiar results like bimodal distributions or skewness. And that's what we get from these separate, stacked, small multiple histograms, which are very easy to do in Jamovi and really a great way to start breaking down your data.